Hello Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we are visiting the country the Netherlands. By the end of this episode, you will know the kingdom of the Netherlands like never before. So we encourage you to watch this episode till the end. So without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. For those of you who lack some knowledge about the country the Netherlands, the Netherlands, a nation in Western Europe, is bordered by the North Sea in the west and also in the north. There are also different countries that border the Netherlands, which includes Belgium, uh, Germany. The country also shares maritime borders with France and also the United Kingdom. It is a European country. Netherlands is a low-lying country with around a quarter of its territory at the below sea level. It covers an area of just over 41,000 km square, making it just slightly larger than the country of Switzerland and half the size of other states you may compare, like South Carolina. When you look at the Netherlands, the Netherlands does have some dependencies. Dutch dependencies were the Caribbean islands of Aruba and also the Netherlands Antilles. But as of October of 2010, moving forward, the Netherlands Antilles has been dissolved and its constituent islands have acquired a new status. Curaçao and Saint Martin are non autonomous countries uh, within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The islands of Bonaire, Saint Estuas, and Soba have become special municipalities. The Kingdom has, we're talking about the Kingdom of the Netherlands here, has a population of just over 17 million, and the capital city, uh, which is the largest, is Amsterdam. The seat of government is the city of The Hague. There are different languages also spoken um, in those particular territories, but the official language is Dutch. There are recognized regional languages, and uh, these are things like West Frassian in the France land, and you do have Papimento in Bonai, and English in Saint Estuatus and Soba. If you are new to Edisplara, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. We will also encourage you to watch our video where we talked about how rich the Netherlands is. We do have it in this channel. Moving forward, looking at the background, after centuries of foreign rule by the Romans, France and also Burgundians, Habsburgs and Spaniards in 1648, the Dutch Republic became a free and sovereign state during the 17th century, also called the Golden Age. The Republic became increasingly prosperous and a major colonial power, thanks largely to the Dutch East Indian Company. Taking a step back, in 1815, the Netherlands and Saudi Netherlands, today's Netherlands and Belgium, were combined to form the Kingdom of the Netherlands. In 1830s, Belgium seceded and formed a separate kingdom. The Netherlands renamed uh, neutral, remains neutral in World War II, World War I, so to say, but was invaded in World War II by the Germans in May of, uh, that was 1940, and occupied for over five years. Of course, times have passed. Today, the Netherlands is a modern industrialized nation and the third largest exporter of food. The country was a founding member of NATO and EU. We were talking about the European Union here. Yeah, you have the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is basically um, abbreviated in that format. And also, it participated in the introduction of the euro that was in 1999. Moving forward, understanding this amazing European country, it does have um, its kingdom, as we've pointed out. Amsterdam is a major city, and you do have The Hague and other cities like Rotterdam, which is a very important city in the Netherlands. You do have other cities like The Hague, and the list goes on and on. Other least uh, areas would include uh, Maastricht, uh, Groningen, Harlem, which are basically very important cities in the Netherlands. The government in the Netherlands, you have the constitutional monarchy, which is head of state, and you do have King William, uh, who is currently at the helm. Moving forward to understand a little bit more about um, uh, the geography of uh, the Netherlands, we've talked about that earlier, but if you understand the climate, 
does have a temporary maritime climate. The people are called uh, the Dutch men, or you may say that the Dutch women, if you want to explain further. Uh, we've talked about there are different ethnic groups. You do have predominantly the Dutch. Uh, largest minority communities are Moroccans, Turks, Surinams. Religions also include Roman Catholic, which is just over 31%. You do have Protestants that are just over 21%. There's also Muslims, which are just over 5%, and other religions will take up to 40%. The largest uh, the language we've pointed out that uh, Dutch, English widely spoken in the Netherlands. And if you want to understand the illiteracy, the literacy rate, so to point out, it's just over 99%. The country has resources, natural resources include natural gas, petroleum, pits, limestone, salt, sand, and also gravels and uh, arable land. If you may understand with regards to agricultural products, grains, potatoes, sugar, beef, fruits, vegetables, and livestock. Interestingly, industrial aspect, there is agro-industry. The country produces metals, engineering products, electrical machineries, and also equipment. It's a very important country within the European Union. Uh, it has uh, its own influences as well. Export commodities would include uh, high machineries and also uh, chemicals, fuels, and also foodstuff. Export patterns that deals with the Netherlands. Um, those trade with countries like uh, Germany. Um, they have just over 24% of their participations. Belgium, uh, United Kingdom, uh, France, uh, Italy, and other countries. The country also does import materials from different countries, which includes they do import from Germany, uh, China, United States, and also the United Kingdom. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Understanding the Netherlands in terms of its economy, it's a major country. According to uh, the DHL Global uh, Merchandise uh, that was a couple of years ago, the Netherlands is a top-ranked country overall. It out ranked all other countries in the world in global connectedness if you want to understand that a little bit more measured by cross-border flow of trade capital information and also people netherlands capital city amsterdam is ranked um, amongst uh, the best in terms of the globalization in hotspot cities with most intense international flow Furthermore, the Netherlands is the seventh largest export economy in the world and the 15th most complex economy. Uh, when you want to understand more about uh, this, this is being placed by the Economic Complexity Index. Since the 1950s, uh, the sales of natural grass has generated uh, enormous revenue uh, for the Netherlands for decades, uh, which has made the country become what it is today in different areas. The country is highly connected when you look at the transportation network. Um, it, it is um, an envy for the world. You do have the Royal Dutch Airlines and you have different airports like Schiphol, officially the, the principal airport uh, in the Netherlands. You do have airports in Rotterdam as well. The rail network is fast indeed. You do have the Dutch rail spore wagon, as you can pronounce that. Uh, you have shipping, which is the Rotterdam Port Authority and there are different products also produced in the Netherlands and that includes different things um, not looking at the product we just mentioned earlier in terms of the industrialization you have different things like Amster beer, uh, Drudge, you have Dout Ebert, Henneken, um, you have the Kuchenhof and there are different things that you may want to find also while visiting the Netherlands. Moving forward you will also understand that uh, the country has transformed, has moved forward. Amsterdam, we've talked about, uh, it's also a central tourist uh, destination, but um, the Netherlands is not just about uh, Amsterdam. So we've talked about all of those things, and for those of you who had um, very little knowledge about this, uh, this country, um, the Netherlands, it is a very important country in Europe. Its educational system is extremely strong as compared to uh, those in regional partners. It has some, one of the best universities that you could just imagine. Uh, you do have universities of Amsterdam, the University of Leiden, University of Maastricht, uh, Tiburg, uh, 
University, there are Fry Universities in Amsterdam, there are major institutions, Erasmus, so to mention. Um, you would just want to know a little bit more as looking at the level of advancement that uh, the country has been. In science and research, there have also been a great inventions, as we've mentioned in our introduction with regards to this particular episode. And also, the country is known for its research as well, and also uh, little innovations that it focuses on. So, this is what we were able to uh, brought to you with regards to uh, the country, the Netherlands. Uh, for those of you who have never been to the Netherlands before, hopefully this uh, particular uh, understanding as to where this country has been uh, will help you to have a clear picture and before you piece things together. Hopefully we've been able to inform you with regards to our visit to the Netherlands. We are looking forward to hearing from you. If you feel that there's something we've left out with regards to this episode in looking at the different aspect of the Netherlands, we would like to hear from you. But if you feel that we've touched out some very important things that are relatedly uh, open to giving you a clear picture with regards to the country, the Netherlands, we would also like to hear from you in the comment section. For now, thanks very much. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.